Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Jennifer. Thanks so much for joining me today, guys. Today we are going to be doing an almost full face of Westman Atelier. I do not have everything from their line. Gucci Westman is the person that started this line. A clean beauty line, beautiful items, beautiful things. I actually like everything I've ever used by Westman Atelier. You know, the aesthetic is not over the top. So what I mean by that is an E. Saint Laurent or a Gucci can be not showy, but you know, they spend a lot of time and effort on the packaging and it's beautiful. And I love those things, don't get me wrong. I think those things are gorgeous. I'm a big fan of House of Siage lipstick cases, which, and perfumes, which are very, you know, ornamental. Ornamental, that was the word I was looking for. Just, you know, beautiful, but definitely more ornate. Westman Atelier is very simple in their aesthetic. That is the foundation stick, and we'll get into all of these products, but all of the line, all of her products are simple in their aesthetic. They work extremely well on the skin, at least they do for me, and I, like I said, I've loved everything that I've ever tried. I do have some new items that I've picked up that I have never tried before, uh, so we'll see how those work. All right, so I have the foundation stick here. This is uh, the Vital Skin Foundation Stick. I have this actually in two shades. So when this first came out, when I first bought it, I bought it in Atelier One, which was the lightest shade that they had. And it's a little too yellow for me. It's not terrible, but um, I'll show you on my hand. So I've had this for quite some time. You can see it's like a little yellow, right? And then a bunch of you, when I did my clean beauty video, and I don't really remember when that was to be honest with you, but I did it recently. Um, two of you in particular, and I can't remember exactly who it was, but I actually did write it down. So I'll put it below and say thank you. <laughs> um, said, hey, have you tried shade N? N is a Nancy, and I was like, no way. So this is a newer shade. And as you can see, it's definitely got a cooler undertone. I'll get it out of my face. So it's much better for me. So we're gonna use that today. I'm actually using it for the first time today. I saved it for you guys. I was gonna use it because this actually came a while ago and I'm like, nope, nope, gotta do it, gotta do it in front of everybody. So, so you just literally take the stick, put it on your skin, you saw how I did that and then you can apply it any way you want to. Um, I'm gonna use this new brush that I just picked up. Now I use BK Beauty brushes all the time. Shout out to BK Beauty, you guys do an amazing job. These are synthetic brushes, cruelty free brushes. And I've been using the 101 foundation brush for a very long time. Uh, the 106 is the round foundation brush. You can see different, very different in size. I've used this one a lot. I need to actually get more of these. But anyway, um, so I'm gonna use this for the first time today on camera. I'm gonna use it for the first time today on camera. I should have been more careful about how I just said that because then you're gonna be like, Jen, you've never used the brush and now you're gonna use, yeah, no, I have used the brush. I just haven't used it on camera before. Like I said, I don't have every product from Westman. It is expensive, so I'm building up slowly. This is their contour stick in Biscuit. It's the Face Trace contour stick. My only issue, that's the color, with Westman Atelier has been color range. Um, they don't have that many foundation sh uh, shades. I'm glad they added the um, N, which is great. Uh, but the contour stick only comes in the shade Biscuit. And what I would say is it it's a cool shade, which I love for contour, but if it works on me and I'm pretty pale, you know what I'm gonna say next. It's probably not gonna work really well for someone with a deeper skin tone. So, you know, the only thing that I would say is that I think they need to expand their coloring. Something to keep in mind, if you look at the line, I will say right now, the shade range is not as good as it could be. So there needs to be some improvement there, but the, the products are excellent. 
Okay, so that is the contour stick. So I do not have a, the bronzer by them. I do have the highlighter and I do have a blush. They have different, I mean, they have different kinds of blushes and different types of highlighters and everything. But let me show you the highlighter. The highlighter comes in three shades. There's a highlighter stick as well. I'm not, I don't have the stick, but I have the little compact. This is Potapesh. Potapesh. I'm pretty sure this is the first one they have. This is their super loaded tinted highlighter. So this is a peachy shade. They have a peach shade, they have a pink shade, and they have a gold shade, I think. I could have that wrong. If I have that wrong, I'll fix it. But that's, that's the highlighter. Stunning on the skin, guys. You'll see. You know what, I'll bring you a little bit closer so you can see. All you can see now is like all of my hair. Okay, that's a little bit better. So I'm gonna take this and I'm literally just gonna put it with my finger. And like I said about, her, uh, about the Westman Atelier products, they are, you know, easy to use, simple. They're, they're not over the top in any way in the way that they're packaged and at the way that they work. You, they do have brushes. I have one of their brushes. I'll show you in a minute. So you can use brushes with all of these products, but Honestly, I tend to use my fingers because I kind of feel like they work really well that way. At least for me, again, that could be because my skin is so dry, I don't know. But I just think that looks beautiful. You can see that highlight from pretty much outer space. The peach is really pretty on, on my skin tone. Um, if you've been here a while, you know that my skin goes pink. I have a cool undertone, which is what we were talking about when we were talking about the foundation stick in the beginning. I. I do want to pick up the pink and the gold eventually, but I wanted to start it with the peach because I thought that would be the best match for my skin. I think the pink will look really pretty. I just, it could be too pink. So I just have to be careful. So we'll see how that goes. Um, blush, they have blush sticks and they look like the contour stick and the foundation. And this is in Chouchette, which I just, I love. I don't know why, but I like that name. Chouchette. Um, it's a pinky peach. It's really pretty. Um, they have m like five or six shades, Minette, Chouchette. Anyway, I forget all of the names, but some are more pink. Some are more um, peachy. There are ones that are more vibrant, which is great, um, and have more pigment to them. Sorry, I know I'm knocking things over. Um, but this one is my favorite. I actually have uh, Mimet, I forget all the names here, but I do have like a lighter pink one, which I also really like. And I always put just like a little bit on my nose because when I like, I don't tan. <laughs> um, I can, I shouldn't, I, I can tan, but it takes a very long time and it never actually looks quite right. So, but when I do go out in the sun and I wear SPF, I will get like a little pink here and a little pink on my cheeks. So this kind of natural look is, you know, how I look when I go out in the sun. So I like to, to recreate that. I do not have a brow product by Westman Atelier. I don't think they have one. I'm gonna do what I've been using lately, which is the Gucci pencil. I've actually made a huge dent in this and I haven't had it that long. It's very soft um, and you can go through it pretty quickly and they are expensive. But I will say, I really like the look it gives. I mean, I know it sounds, you know, cause it's a pencil. How, how, how creative can you get? But there's something about this formula, and also it comes in Auburn, which is helpful. Uh, there's something about this formula. It just works really well. It gives your eye a really nice defined look, but natural at the same time. So I would really strongly endorse this one. Uh, I didn't think I was gonna love it, but I really do. And I actually think it fits very well with the Westman aesthetic, the pencil and the way that it looks. So let me do my brows really quickly and we'll come right back. So brushes, they come in these really cool containers that look, mimic the containers for the foundation and the, the blushes, et cetera, et cetera. And the brush is this tiny little brush. Now the one that I got is the Baby Blender. It's a tiny little brush. Look how cute it is. Um, and it's, it's not big. I mean, it's, I have small hands, but I mean, you can tell this is a small brush. Um, compared to like a Sonia G Worker 2. See the length there? So yeah, they're, they're, it's a smaller brush. It's, like I said, it's the Baby Blender. 
And the reason I picked up, this is the first time I picked up any of her brushes, is that I finally got my hands on the iPods. So they come in this box, like this, um, and they look like this. Look how cute. And there are these tiny little pots. They're magnetic, which I just, I just think is adorable. And so this is the daytime one. Um, Le Jour, I think it is. Yes, I actually got that right. Le Jour. And then there's uh, Le Nuit. So Nuit is night, this is day. Uh, I want to pick up the night one too, but I wanted to start with the day shades because I thought they would probably be things I wore more. And so each one has like a little screw off. It's very, you know, very simple. And there's basically um, like a chocolate brown color, a white shade, and then a um, taupey shade. Okay, so I'm gonna swatch them. But the reason I picked up the brush is that they're very tiny. And again, I, I think I said this in my last Chantecai haul. There's been many, I know. Trust me, I'm aware. So the, the, the mermaid shadows are small and I actually like them better because they don't go dry. The thing is, these are really tiny and if you put your finger in here, it's hard to get your finger in here. My hands are very small. So if I can't get my finger in there, I can't imagine what like a normal size person can do. Plus if you have nails, like you know, real nails, there's no way you're getting it in there. So this brush I just thought was perfect for the size. So I'm gonna actually um, use my finger so you can see it, but I, like I said, I think I'll be using the brush when I put them on. The gold, the middle shade. It's not really a taupe, it's more of a, like co like a copper, I guess is the best way to say it. Yeah, it's kind of like a copper. And then the chocolate shade. So that's chocolate. The other is tabac. That's what it's called, tabac, T-A-B-A-C. Apricot, it's kind of apricot. That's a good way to explain it. It's like an apricot. This is chocolate. And then this one is neige, which um, is white. <laughs> It's like a pearly, pearly white. And I'm not showing you as I swatch these because it's just, I, I'm, I'm digging my, it, it's awkward because the way you have to put your finger in there, just, it's, anyway. <laughs> so, tabac, chocolate, neige. Simple, not complicated shades, guys. I mean, you know, but I like them. Um, so I'm gonna take the tabac and I'm gonna swirl it in there. I'm actually gonna put this all over my eye. And for me, this brush actually works really well because it, it's about the size of my eyelid. So when I just pounce it on like this, it actually fits very well. I mean, I don't know if that'll be true for everyone's eye because everyone has different eye shape, but I think it will work for most people. I also think this brush would be excellent as a contour brush for your nose. I'm gonna need to do that. Try that out. I think it would be really good for that. Uh, I'm just going in and like stamping it and then uh, blending out. I love this shade. I think apricot is a good way to explain it. It does have shimmer, um, but it's a very sophisticated shimmer. It's uh, subtle. I would say her line is all about achieving a sophisticated, easy to do look. I just put that all over my eye. That's all I did. And I think if I just took some liner and put some mascara on, that would be beautiful. It's actually really pretty. Um, let me close my eyes so you can kind of see the shade. Hopefully my hair is not in the way. But it's just a really pretty, like I said, apricot shade. I think that looks really nice. And I think you could build it. I'll put it on a little bit more. Um, but it's not going to be, it's not gonna be super pigmented. It's not going to be that kind of look. This is not something like a Pat McGrath or a Natasha Denona even kind of pigment. This is more of a wash of color, easy to use, you know, um, foolproof, sort of. I mean, I hate to say that because <laughs> I have screwed things up in my time that, uh, let's face it, um, you would have thought would have been pretty easy, but they weren't. So, <laughs> you 
you never underestimate the ability to screw something up. Um, I'm going in with a smaller mini booster Sonia G brush with the chocolate because I want to just put this in the crease. Um, you know, it's not, it, there, there's not duochromes or over pigmentation to these. So I, they're going to be relatively foolproof for anybody who decides to use them. I love this idea that you have a simple, easy look. I just, I think that's great. Um, especially for days that I'm running out the door. And these would be easy to travel with too because they're magnetic. So you could just literally just snap them together and throw them in a bag. I'm using the chocolate with the uh, Sonia D pencil brush. I'm just going to go on the lower lash line here. And I will use a... Um, eyeliner my upper lash line but I wanted to test out yeah that's really pretty but you can see it's a very subtle chocolate like it's not it's not a deep chocolate brown it's almost like a it's a satin it's like a satiny brown it's very pretty and I think would give a gorgeous wash of color all over the eye as well if that's what you decided to do I'll take the nege with my finger this is the pearly white Kind of go up in the brow bone here to give that a little emphasis. And I'll also put it in the inner corner. Um, I will bring you in close so you can see the final look before we put on eyeliner and mascara. Because guys, I want you to see what it looks like as we move forward through all these steps. For me, when I'm trying out new makeup, I think it's helpful to see on folks what it looks like without a liner, without mascara, without false lashes because when a look is done, when it has false lashes or a lot of mascara or liner, it can cover up, if you will, problems with the underlying makeup or it can fix something that doesn't quite look right. So I always wanna show you guys, if I can, and if I remember, because sometimes I forget, because I'm human, but um, I wanna show you what it looks like just by itself. if I remember, because <laughs> like I said, sometimes I do forget and I apologize. So I took advantage of the Muse, the Muse Beauty Sale last month and I bought some brushes and some Viseart palettes and I also got, as part of one of the deals that they had, this double-ended Eason brush and I got it in gold brown. If you guys don't know Muse Beauty Pro, I'll put it down below. They have a lot of great products, Eason brushes, and Viseart. I love Viseart. I'm gonna do a video with the, um, the new uh, palettes that I picked up. One of them is Solstice, which was one of the newer petite ones. Uh, and I picked up some ones that I'd wanted to get for a while, but the Eason double-ended liners are really good liners, and I like their color combinations. This one with brown and gold, I think works well with this particular eye look. Okay. So here is the final look with a little bit of that Eason brown liner. I'll curl my lashes. I do not have the Westman Atelier mascara. So I will use the Chantecai mascara because I think that's about right for this look. There's the finished eye look with the Chantecai mascara. I do wanna pick up the Westman Atelier one. I wanna finish out my line. I wanna get all of the products, but again, you gotta do these things in moderation. So this is what it looks like with the Chantecai. When I say um, I think it's the right mascara for this look, it's not that you can't wear a over-the-top mascara or even false lashes with this look. If that's what you wanna do, you do you. But the shadows, these iPods, they are a wash of color. They are not strongly pigmented. So I really think these products are beautiful and I'm really enjoying the iPods. I'm glad I finally was able to pick them up and I wanna pick up the Nuit, the Nui shades, um, the night shades. But what I would say is you have to, I, I've seen comments, people say things like, well, that's not pigmented or that's not, that's too powdery or whatever it is on like different types of makeup. Different types of makeup have different purposes. A, a person who is buying a Pat McGrath Mothership palette, for the most part, you know what you're buying, or at least you hopefully you know what you're buying because it's $125 and hopefully you're not spending that money just because someone else told you to. Hopefully you're buying it because you know what you're getting. You know that there's those special shades in there. There's probably a multi-chrome, duo-chrome, some shade that you know is like, you can see it from the moon. That is the point. That is the aesthetic. 
stunningly beautiful palettes and I mean I pretty much love everything Pat McGrath but it's a very different aesthetic and different purpose than these are. These are a wash of color for your eyes. They're very simple, they're very easy, you put them on, they look really nice, but they're not gonna be, you know, an over-the-top look. That's just not gonna happen. They actually look to me very similar to the Chantecaille Safari Eye Trio that I just picked up. Now those are warmer in shade. These are actually cooler in shade, in undertone. But similar idea, three shades, pretty simple to put on, pretty neutral, and will work with practically anything. And it takes you a minute to do it. That's the aesthetic, that is this look. If you're not looking for that, then you won't enjoy these. If you are, you will. It's really that simple, folks. Um, all right, so to, to pair with this, um, the only lip product that Westman Atelier has is very different from the aesthetic that I just talked about. The iPods are very much a wash of color, beautiful, but you know, sheer. The lip product they have though, totally different, totally the opposite. It's in a compact, by the way, these compacts are heavy. I mean, I'm not joking. If you threw this at someone, you could do some major damage. They're <laughs> incredibly heavy. I don't know what they're made out of, but they feel like, like lead. I mean, they're hefty. Uh, I actually like the feel of it in your hand, but anyway, that's not the point. Um, the lip product comes in something that looks just like this and it's shades of red. So there's like four strips. I'll show you a picture up above. Um, there's four strips and they're different shades of red, like a brick red, a red red, an orange red, etc. And they are exceedingly pigmented. I've seen them on people. I have not bought them. I want to buy it, <laughs> but I'm afraid of reds because of, you know, so I'm so careful with red. I don't know how it would work, but it does look like a beautiful product and it's incredibly pigmented, literally the opposite of the iPod. So if you're looking to pick up some from Westman Atelier, the products are all good. The quality is all excellent. I can recommend that for across the board, but you want something pigmented, you want something, you know, rich, pick up the lip compact. If you like red, that thing is super pigmented. Um, so I'm gonna use some of the Chantecaille powder that I picked up. This is the candlelight. This is this um, like brush. It's like a, it's like a pump. <laughs> it's like a brush pump. I don't know how else to explain it. That's the only way I can explain it. Anyway, um, I'm just gonna put a little bit on. The candlelight is a very um, illuminating powder, which I think works with this. It's a gorgeous powder, guys. It's beautiful. Um, Westman Atelier doesn't have any finishing or setting powders as far as I am aware, but I'm sure they will eventually. I'm sure they'll be excellent. So I'm gonna go in with the Acacia, which was the one of the new shades that um, Chantecaille came out with for fall. That's the shade. It's the Space for Giants um, cause that they're giving to with ones that you see with the little elephant. That is Acacia. It has more of like a plum tone on me, uh, but remember things go cool. So on you, it might be more neutral. Uh, if you want something more browned, the tamarind is the way to go. This has like a coppery shade. And then if you want something that's really pink, go with the plumeria. Those are kind of the, the, the simplest way to, to describe the three new ones. Talk about like what you want to pick up from the line. And I mentioned this a minute ago. If you're somebody who really likes pigments and you want something rich and colorful, uh, Gucci Westman isn't probably your aesthetic. However, the highlighter is very highlighty, <laughs> like that, very highlighty. Uh, it gives you definite highlight. It's not, it's not like a strobe highlighter though. It's not hourglass, but it, it definitely has some punch to it. Um, but the lip compact is the most pigmented of all things. Check it out. At least look at it online. I'm telling you that thing that it's pigmented uh, and beautiful. Uh, and I'll probably pick it up soon. The uh, rest of the line though, I think is more subtle and understated. They have the foundation stick, which you saw on me. The highlighter stick that they have is almost like a gloss. It's like clear almost. Uh, so it just looks like a highlighting gloss. 
The contour stick and biscuit works really well on me and I love the shade, but it's probably light for most people because I am on the fair end of the spectrum. Um, their bronzer again is light. Um, I haven't picked it up yet, but you'll see. I'll put a picture above. It's beautiful, but it's, it's not particularly deep. The iPods, at least the day ones, the Le Jour, they're definitely light and a wash of shade, of color. The night ones, I'm not sure because I haven't used them yet, but I'm gonna guess they're also sheer in tone. Uh, so I think that pretty much covers the line. I don't think I'm forgetting anything. The brushes are really good. I really like this brush. This is a great little brush. Also really good for travel. And I'm definitely gonna try it as a contour on my nose because I think this will work really well for that. So, um, you know, I loved everything I picked up. I'm happy I got them. I'm going to continue using them all the time. I use the contour stick all the time. I, it's just a favorite. It works really, really well. The uh, blush I also like because it's just, it works well for me and it's sheer. Uh, the new highlighter though, I'm, that, I love that. And um, the foundation stick I, I use more than any other foundation stick, even more than Tom Ford. So, and the new iPods, like I said, guys, I think I'm gonna be wearing that Tabak color or that chocolate color a lot, so I think they look really pretty. But you have to, I mean, again, they're very light. They're very light in shade. I mean, I'm very pale. You can see them on my eyes. They don't, they don't pack a lot of pigment. So if, if you like that and you're good with that, like I am, then it's a great product for you. <laughs> if you don't wanna spend, and I forget how much they are, I'll put it down below, but it's a lot for three shades that just give you a wash of color, don't buy them because you're gonna be disappointed. Hopefully you've enjoyed today's video. Uh, if you have any questions about the Westman Atelier line, just let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear if you've used the line, um, any thoughts that you have about the different products. And if you use the lip pigment, the compact, please comment below whether you think I should pick it up because I know it's pigmented, I know it's good, good quality. I've seen other people use it and they they rave about it. I just don't know if it would work with my coloring. I wish they would have a neutral one, like a beigey one. <laughs> I know I probably would like a beigey pink one. Anyway, so let me know what your thoughts are. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining me today, guys. I really appreciate it. I hope to see you in another video really soon. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.